In this video, we're going to look at an if statement that tests whether a cell is blank. So, in our first scenario, we've got, like, an issues list for our different properties. We've got the date that the issue was recorded, the property code, the issue type, and the completion status. Now, we need to fill in the status column. If we have a date completed, the status is closed, and if there is no date, the status is open. So, we need some way of testing whether or not these cells are blank. If the cells are blank, the status needs to be open. If the cells are not blank, the status needs to be closed. Now, one way we can do this is to use the isBlank function. isBlank is an information function and it tests to see whether a cell reference or a formula returns a blank. So, isBlank, E2, that gives me a false. If I copy it down, you can see I get a true if the cell is blank, otherwise false. So, I can put this within my if statement. It becomes a logical test. My value if true would be open, and my value if false would be closed. If I copy that down, I get the answers I want. The other way we could have done th. Is, if you don't want to use is blank, is to say, does the cell contain an empty text string? So, it's two quotation marks together. If I copy that down, that would give me the same answers. So, it's either is blank or you can use that test there. Let's look at a second example. So, we have Bob, Bernard, Brigitte, Barbara, and Betty. And we've got the number of calls achieved on a particular day and the number of dropped calls. So, we want to find out what percentage of calls were dropped. 16 out of 68, 24%. Now, if I copy this down, I get the DIV error here. The DIV error essentially means that you're dividing by zero. So, I'm dividing this cell by this cell. I haven't filled in the data yet, but I want those formulas there, ready for when I do get the data from Brigitte, Barbara, and Betty. So, to avoid this DIV error, one way around it would be to use another if statement. So, what we could do is we can say, is this blank? If true, return an empty text string, other you. Is. E, perform the formula. So, if I copy this down now, you can see that instead of that horrible DIV error, I've just got some seemingly blank cells. If I do add data here, 56 calls for dropped, then it no longer appears blank, it performs the actual formula. Now, there is an alternative way to performing this calculation and returning a blank if need be, and that is by using the if error function, and you may prefer this method. Now, the if error function allows you to mask errors. So, it has two arguments, value and value if error. Your value is your formula, dropped calls divided by number of calls. And then the second argument is value if error, that's what you want to mask the error with. The divide by zero error in this case. So, if I copy that down, it performs the formula as normal unless it comes across the div error, in which case it returns the value if error. Now, that is. A simpler version, I think you'd probably agree, of the same procedure. So, calculation but using if and is blank. Okay, so two options for you there. But thank you very much for listening, and don't forget to subscribe if you find these tips and tricks useful.